Occupy Wall Street is a constant and ongoing movement that's happening right now in New York City. But not only is it happening in New York City, it's supported by many other people across the nation. So there are protests set up in many other cities supporting the same problems and the same ideas that the people in Sukkati Park in New York City are supporting. Occupy Wall Street's slogan is, we are the 99%, meaning that if you make less than a million dollars a year, you are part of the 99%. And they're fighting for you. Um, Occupy Wall Street just wants to bring attention to the fact that the income gap and the income inequality in this country is growing out of hand. 1% of the nation owns 40, 1% of the population owns 40% of the nation's entire wealth. And these people aren't being income taxed, they're, they're not being taxed as much as they should be to, you know, um, make up for the fact that they're making so much money, they need to put more money back into our economy. Um, Occupy Wall Street also has a major problem with how the government is handling this problem. Um, they say that the government should implement taxes and implement laws that would help the 99% and tax the 1%. They don't believe that the 1% shouldn't be wealthy and that they don't deserve their money. They just believe that the bankers and politicians came into money in an unfair way and that they should that they shouldn't be treated differently and better than the working middle class. Um, the Obama administration did set up a stimulus that helped from the economy slowing down, but it did not really help the unemployment problem, which is a major problem for OWS. Many of the protesters out there are graduated college students who can't find a job. Many companies now uh, see that there are countries overseas that have workers will work for way less, so they send work sites over there to save more money and have people work for less. And the graduating students now don't can't really find a job, and it's becoming more difficult to even want to go to college because you see that after college there are no jobs. And Occupy Wall Street thinks that there, the government needs to do something. We do need a way to create more jobs and get more money flowing throughout the rest of the country. Occupy Wall Street is a beautiful movement that's happening right now and many more people should, I'm not going to say support it, but you should look into it and see what they want and what they need. Occupy Wall Street is a leaderless movement. They don't have a leader and they don't have a clear set of demands. It's They just want to bring awareness to the unfairness in our country. Um, Occupy Wall Street just wants this country to be run more fair. They need, they want um, bigger income taxes for the wealthy, but not necessarily to the point where it's overwhelming. They just believe that the money and the way things are run should be done more fairly throughout the country. I support Occupy Wall Street and I will always support Occupy Wall Street. It's a peaceful protest supporting I mean, fighting for myself, fighting for a better future for myself and my family, and I think it's something that more Americans should look into.